It's an idea so obvious, I'm embarrassed I didn't think of it myself. Fortunately, Steve Nestor did. Steve is one of the grill wranglers on Project Fire, and he likes to cut racks of ribs into individual bones to be rubbed, smoked, and sauced like chicken wings. Start with a rack of St. Louis cut ribs or baby backs. Cut them into individual bones. I'm using St. Louis cut ribs, which are a shorter version of a spare rib. I love the meaty flavor of a St. Louis style rib. Now, arrange your ribs on a wire rack over a sheet pan. Next, prepare the rub. Add equal parts salt, freshly ground black pepper, sweet or smoked paprika, and brown sugar, chili powder for spice, onion powder for sweetness, garlic powder for pungency, and celery seed, just because it's so interesting. Mix the ingredients for the rub with your fingers, breaking up any lumps in the brown sugar. Now come and season the backs of your ribs. Then turn the ribs over and season the other side the same way. To smoke the ribs, I'm using an extra large big green egg. I fueled it with lump charcoal, added a few hickory chunks to generate wood smoke, plus the deflector plate in order to set the grill up for indirect grilling. Now take your ribs and place the ribs on the grill grate. Close the grill lid. We'll adjust the vents to obtain 250 degrees. Cook the ribs for one hour. Total cooking time will be three and a half to four hours. Meanwhile, let me show you how to make the cider spray. Start by adding one cup of cider vinegar, then a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and finally, a splash of hot sauce, as much as you can bear. Open the ribs and spray them with the cider spray. And you'll do this every 30 to 45 minutes. We're adding an extra layer of flavor, keeping the ribs moist. We have one more preparation to make, and that is a chipotle molasses barbecue sauce. It starts with ketchup, to which you will add a sriracha for heat, Dijon-style mustard for tang, brandy for fruitiness, sambuca for an anise sweetness, molasses for an earthy sweetness, brown sugar for more sweetness, garlic powder for pungency, and chopped chipotle peppers for smoky heat. Next, add the finely grated zest of a lemon for brightness, and a squeeze of fresh lemon juice for acidity. Finally, a splash of Worcestershire sauce to bring it all together. Now whisk the ingredients together and bring the sauce to a boil. Then reduce the heat and gently simmer for 10 or 15 minutes. Take a look at the ribs. They're coming along really nicely. So again, every 30 to 40 minutes, we'll spray with the cider spray. So it's been three hours. And take a look, the ribs are almost cooked. You can see the meat has shrunk back from the ends of the bones by about a half an inch. So at this point, brush the ribs with chipotle molasses barbecue sauce. The aroma is incredible. The scent of sizzling pork, spice rub, and hickory wood smoke. Are you hungry yet? Well, I hope you can wait another half hour because the final step is to open the vents wide and sear the sauce into the meat. Check out those rib wings. You can see they're done. The meat has shrunk back from the ends of the bones by about 
half to three quarters of an inch. And here's the advantage of having arranged the rib wings on wire racks. You can just pull them off in one fell swoop. And I kind of like to just pile the ribs up in a bowl. These make perfect finger food at a tailgating party. And the last two for me. And a dollop of the Chipotle molasses barbecue sauce. Yeah. So let's see how we did. Mm. Crusty on the outside, tender, smoky. See a little touch of pink, a smoke ring. Try a little of the sauce. Great sweetness from the molasses and that surprising anise bite from the Sambuca. Rib wings, easy to cook, even easier to eat. An idea whose time has come. Game on.